In this video, I will create an, a plain text file, upload it to the server, and then view that file from the internet. All right, to get started, we'll want to open up uh, Notepad++, which is what I have open here, and create a new file. All right, and we'll just put some text in there. Uh, I'll just call it that. I can put any, whatever text I want. Mm, I'm going to put a second line too. Okay. And then we're going to need to save this file. Save as. And I want to save it somewhere well where I'll know where it is. So I'm going to put it in my documents. I'll just put it at the top of this folder, though maybe you would like to have a folder in my documents called CISC 101, I'm sorry, 103, and uh, save your files in that folder. So I don't want to call it new 4 either. So we're going to call it, or I'm going to call it TEST uh, 1.html. So most files that we upload to the web server should have the HTML extension or uh, or HTM extension either way so I'll save it like this and so now it's in there so the next thing to do I've created the file that I want to put on the web server now I have to put it on the web server so for that I will open up SSH the FTP portion I ultimately want so I opened up the window and this is the SSH or remote login portion of that software. So we want to you see this new file transfer here. The one to the left of it is an SSH terminal window. It's the file transfer window that we want. So I'll we'll click that. And I get the file transfer window open. Oh my gosh. There we go. In this client here, we see on the left hand side over here is my local machine. That I can I can view the file system in my local machine on the left hand pane. On the right hand pane, I can view the remote the remote machine, the server. Uh, and I'm not connected to a server, so we don't see anything there at the moment. So I'd like to connect to the to a server real quick here. And it's going to be I'm connect I'm going to connect to strauss.udl.edu. You can connect to copeland.udl.edu either way. Strauss or Copeland, it doesn't matter. They're the same machine. So, uh that's just my username there. My udel net ID and port 22 you want to leave alone. And we won't bother with this right now, the uh profile settings. So I'll just connect prompts me for my password I don't care to do that right now and now in the, in the right hand pane I do see the web server now I have a lot of files already there you, yours is probably empty in fact you probably only have this one public HTML it's likely the only folder you have in there or files these are all files and these are folders we want to put our file that we just created so I need to know where it is that's why I was cautious about where I was putting it and I know I put it in my documents I'll have to find it I remember putting it in the top test1.html and I want to put it into this public HTML folder right here. See it there? So I'm just going to drag and drop it over there. But I'd like to mention one thing real quick before I do that. You may not see your file extension here, the .html part. Windows by default often leaves file extensions hidden. So you might see just test1. That's really not desirable. We want to be able to see test1.html. 
So let me show you how to correct that real quick. I just opened up Windows Explorer and I'm going to click Organize, Folder and Search Options, View, and in the list that's here, this one right here, Hide Extensions. Yours is probably checked at the moment if you don't see those extensions. You want to uncheck that and then click OK and then minimize Windows Explorer. Uh-oh, here we go again. And then if you refresh this, you'll see that HTML there. You can refresh by doing a right click and then refresh. I did it, but I could already see mine. So there it is. All right, so we can just drag, grab that. I left click on it so I can pull it, right? Just pulling it across. I'm going to drop it right into that folder. Now if I go in there, notice I have a lot of files in mine already. Test1.html. Somehow I have a test2.html in there too for something. Let's just delete that. I'll click this button right there and I can delete files on the server. Even. Um, this is something else I was playing around with. Well, let's not clean up my file right now, my directory right now. So the next thing we want to do then, now our, our test1.html is on the web server in the folder public underscore HTML that is visible to the world via the internet. So let's just see if we can see our file. Okay. So let's go to udel.edu slash and then a tilde which is a shift and that's squiggly that's below the escape key on the left hand side of your keyboard. If you, you might be able to see it in my URL up here. And then your username and then slash and that puts you in your home directory and then what we want to say, that puts you in public underscore HTML. So we want to say that now we want to list the, the actual test1 dot HTML is the file that we want to view. So then we hit enter and there's our file. So something interesting here though, this portion right here that reads another line, that was supposed to be on another line. So line one was my first website, line two was another line, but they're all in one line. Uh, that has to do with the way the browser parses pages that it believes are HTML. We don't have any HTML code in this page, so it's just plain text. So we will be able to correct this issue when we start to learn uh, HTML. Okay, and so now what I'd like to do real quick here is the last thing that we'll do is I'd like to put a third line. And I'll save that. I'm using Control S. And let's go view let's refresh and we should see our third line, right? We won't see our third line. We do not see our third line. And that is because we never saved that modification to the server. We modified the notepad++ file, the original source code that's on our local machine, but we never uploaded that new file to the server and that's the problem. So what we want to do is if we want to see that change on the internet then we need to come on back here. I'm going to refresh real quick. That's one HTML. I just dragged it on over, dropping it there. Yes, I want to do that. I want to overwrite it. Okay, and that will come back to.
to our web server here and now we see the change so it's important to realize and to remember that when you make modifications via notepad on the local machine if you want to see those changes uh, on the internet you have to upload the new file every time you change the the original source code you have to upload it to the to the web server alright so we've created a web page it's not very pretty but it's there 